Hey everyone, welcome back to another fantastic video. Russ here. Today we're talking more about nursing math problems. Before we get into it, please slap that subscribe button. I am on the hunt for 1,000 subscribers and you can help me out a lot if you please hit that subscribe button and slap that like button. Let's get into this. A doctor orders that you administer morphine, grain one-tenth. The only available bottle of morphine is labeled morphine, 10 milligrams per milliliter. How many milliliters will you administer? Well, okay, this is not a hard problem. Grain. Grain is a weird unit. It's not used very much anymore that I know of. It's an old apothecary type unit. So we have to kind of work with it. It's not a big deal. It's really not a big deal. So we have one tenth of a grain. We're going to multiply that by something. Now, this unit or this conversion factor here, 10 milligrams per milliliter of morphine, doesn't have grain in it. It doesn't use the unit grain, but it uses the unit milligram. You can convert grains to milligrams. There is a conversion factor for that. So grain has to go on the bottom. And so it will cancel and milligrams will go on top. And I looked it up on Google and one grain, let me see if I can find, there we go. One grain is 64.78 so then nine, excuse me, nine, eight, nine milligrams. Now, you may use grains as 60 milligrams per one grain if they rounded it down to one significant figure, but this is the, what Google gave me, so this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to multiply that now by something, because we don't want to be in milligrams, right? The question clearly says how many milliliters. So at the end of the day, we have to be in milliliters. So we're going to convert some more. We're going to put milligrams down here so that they'll cancel, right? And we're going to put milliliters up there and then we'll stop because now we're in the unit we want. We're in milliliters. Milliliters are where we want to be. That's the only unit that's not canceling. So we're going to stop here and we're going to plug in some numbers. We know from here that there are 10 milligrams per one milliliter of morphine solution. So the 10 will go down here and the 1 will go up there. You grab your handy dandy calculator and you just do the math. So 1 multiplied by 64.7989 multiplied by 1 again. All I did was I multiplied through the numerator. Now divide by the denominator. Divide by 10, divide by 1, divide by 10 again. And the answer the calculator gives me is 0. 0.6479 and so on. So now if we want to round this to one significant figure, it would be 0 0.6 milliliters. That's one significant figure. And now I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, slap that like button, leave a comment down below, and please hit subscribe. I'm on the hunt for 1,000 subscribers, trying to get there for summer. Please help me out. I really would appreciate that. And with that, I want to wish you all good luck and good chemistry. We'll see you soon.